Cooper we got with us today. Yeah, Corey, Corey Cooper. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself, Mr. Cooper. I'm 40 years old. Uh, I had a pretty strenuous life, man. I'm going through some shit right now. Uh, it's pretty, pretty stressful. Uh, I don't know, I say that's a, I started uh, my life of this shit about 12 years old. So I say about 87, 80, 86. 89, I was locked up in uh, in, in you know, Band Defender. Uh, juvenile for a pretty bad crime, which uh, we ended up uh, getting past that. But ever since then, it's been like pretty downhill as far as my life of any kind of success. I've had success. I've had jobs. I had plenty of jobs. I had plenty of everything. You know what what kind of household did you grow up in, Mr. Cole? Uh, single mom, single, single mom, home mom, and my, and my brother, and but my brother, my mom's boyfriend beat on and shit like that, drugs and shit all around. Um, what schools did you go to growing up? Uh, I went to uh, uh, Lampy, I went to Sherman, I went to his own South Side. I went to uh, Tri A, well, Roosevelt, went to a bunch of different city schools. We got kicked out of the city schools, I had to go to the county school. And so I ended up going to the county schools, going to Lindbergh, Spearing, Webster Road, uh, uh, where I started to integrate with white people. More, more. Uh, as I'm saying, I'm selling dope by then. Uh, Who introduced you to that lifestyle? Just the streets, period. Just wanted more shit. I mean, I ain't had nothing. You know, kind of getting like getting uh, Joan on the shit school and uh, about buddy, buddy shoes and. Holy pants and pa pass down shit. And Tell us what are buddy shoes for people who don't know. Oh man, Payless and shit. Payless shoes, man. How old wing, were you? Pro wings, pro wings and shit like that. How old were you when you started with your uh, street street life? I'm gonna say about 12. About 12 years old. What did you start uh, hustling first? Heroin. Heroin. Uh, and uh, cocaine, crack. Uh, but that's, that's for the time about 89, 90, just when the cracks and shit start coming here. And that's about the same time the gang started coming here too, so. I was also involved in that shit too, pretty heavy. Uh, I just spent all of my time in jail, man. Most of my life, actually. Uh, I ain't proud of that, but it happened. It's part of my life story, it's like a scar. Everybody got them. Let me show you where you been at, where you come from. And not to forget. Uh, Jeez. Uh, any did, kind of questions you got for me? Where did, um, you say you started going to jail at what age? 12. 10 years old. What did you do after you were released from jail? Like, what was the plan? Well, the plan was to, uh, uh, you know, do the turnaround program and not do any more crime. Shit didn't work. We did on the scared straight program and it didn't work. Uh, I was more, more, uh, more drawn to streets. I, I was more drawn to uh, you know, you have money, you got a little power, you got a little power, you got a little respect. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got a lot of respect, actually. Uh, when you got the bag, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, shit. Uh, you lose a lot of friends out here on the streets? Like I would never, I, I, I would never say no friends. I never had no friends. Not, well, not, like, not like some super friends, I had plenty of associates. Uh, you lose a lot of associates out here on the streets associated with the game and hustling. So many, man, it's unreal. I'm surprised I'm here. Like, I wouldn't, I don't think I'm supposed to be here right now. I don't think I'm supposed to be here now. But, I mean, God got me to have dinner. It's something for me to do. Uh, hopefully, I'll find out what that is before I pass this life. What is some advice that you would give to a young guy, man, that's growing up and getting Joan because he's wearing buddies and, this, and he's thinking about jumping off the porch and getting into a life of crime, what kind of advice or what would you tell them, man? Everybody, Knowing what you know today. Everybody got choices, man. And I made bad choices. I mean, saying I, 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 uh, I always been pretty smart. Uh, and I should have stuck with that. I should have stuck with my scholastics and things like that. I should have stuck with the school shit. Uh, I was saving a lot of time and saving my people a lot of uh, you know, trouble and hard aching. Money and time, all kind of shit, man. Like, uh, I would, I, I would, I would say, um, not to, not to fall victim, not to fall victim to the streets, man. Cause you're gonna be a victim. You in the streets, you're gonna be a victim at some point in time. You know, you, you got predators and prey, man. You got predators and fucking prey. Uh, I 
started out pray. I ended up a predator. You know what I mean? Uh, became prey again, though. You know what I'm saying? Predators become prey, too. It's always a motherfucker big and bad than you. So, I mean, my, my advice to any person thinking about going to the streets, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Uh, stick with them books and find some sports or something. Find something, you know what I'm saying, something you can do. Find, find something that you can live with, man, because this ain't living. Is the street life worth it? When you look back on your life, was it worth it? The lessons, yes. The, uh, the lessons, yes. I think it made me a stronger person. Uh, but as far as, you know, it got ups and downs, got good and bad side. Uh, like I said, the, the only thing that I found out about the street is it made me a stronger person. I know I could survive anywhere. You know what I mean? I could drive me anywhere, I'm going to survive. Uh, as far as, Jail shit, shit go like that. Shit, that's just all bad, man. You lose your place in your family. You lose your place in life. You lose your place in society, man. Uh, you lose your place. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I got little cousins and that shit. I mean, and I don't even know them. Like, like, you know, if you don't know them, they don't respect you. You know what I'm saying? What can I say? They don't know me. You know, how can respect somebody you don't know? Uh, you will lose your place in life. Uh, fucking with the streets, man. I mean, since you were growing up till now, what changes have you seen in the city, man, that you, you saw firsthand, like, wow, things are totally different now? Uh, the generation, the generational change. Um, like the kid, like, 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 am I, am I, we gener I got something, I got Generation X, maybe, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not really sure if it's Generation X or not. I'm, I'm not really sure what they call the 90s, you know, the 80s and 90s kids. Uh, but uh, we had some, we had respect. We had respect for our elders. Today they don't have no respect. Uh, they living to die, man. You know what I'm saying? Like in my my opinion, these young kids living to die. They walk around with big ass guns and that the state or the government has dropped in their hands and, you know what I'm saying, and made legal for them to kill each other. Like, they don't even fucking realize it. Like, uh, it's this fucking, it's, it's a catch-22, it's a setup. It's a setup. Uh, like I said, uh, most of the cats younger than me, uh, in their 30s and shit like that, like that, I said, they living to die, man. Uh, anybody under 30 is living to die. They want to be on a t-shirt. They want to be remembered on Facebook. They want to be remembered uh, in a song or some shit. Like, they don't want to live no more. Like, they ain't got no drive, man. Uh, and they got it pretty easy too. They got it real, real easy. Uh, everything is uh, on the computers and smartphones and shit like that. So you ain't gonna never really gotta do nothing. Uh, no real hard work. Don't nobody wanna work no more. You know, everybody wanna just uh, wake up and be rich. Wake up and be rich. <laughs> that's exactly what they wanna do. Wake up and be rich. And that's fucking impossible for anybody. You yeah. gotta work hard, man. You gotta work hard. You gotta do the right things to be rich and to keep it. I've been rich before. <laughs> I've been rich. I've been, I've been, I've been nigga rich. <laughs> I had, I had, you know, I've Describe been, that to us for people who don't understand what you're saying, man. Nigga rich, man. I've, I, I, I've actually yeah. made a million dollars like four times in the, in the street of St. Louis. Like I've had like a million dollars, like cash money, my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody helped me get that shit. I grind, I sold dope. I, I did what I had to do to get it. Uh, they call that nigga rich, man. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can do what I want at the time. Uh, I've been a lot of places, I've seen a lot of shit that a lot of people in my, in my ethnicity won't never see. Uh, or, 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 or my my age range, they won't never see it. They didn't have, you know, if they wouldn't, as fortunate as I was to make the money and live to spend some of it, because a lot of it I spent on jail, uh, commissary, lawyer fees, bonds, and shit like that. Uh, so I wasted a lot of money. Uh, but. I said, I've been, I've been street rich four times, man. Uh, but I ain't got shit now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm lightweight homeless on the street right now. You know what I mean? Uh, and it's hard, man. It's fucking hard. When you ain't got it, don't no motherfucker give a fuck about you no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you ain't got it, it's over with. It's over with, man. Hey, man, I appreciate you, Mr. Corey, for taking time out to share your story. And if there's anything you want to say to anybody who may be looking for you, worried about you, wondering if you're okay in clothes, and now's the time you can say whatever you want to say to get off your chest. Damn. I'm alive. You know what I'm 
thankful and grateful for all the prayers. Um, shit hard, but I'm making it. You know what I mean? As long as I'm breathing, I don't give up. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do something. You know? I'm gonna be able to make it somewhere. I'm gonna be all right. We appreciate you, Mr. Corey, and thank you, man. No problem.